Hi, welcome back. So, within the, uh, the world of the violin, one of the most overlooked parts of being able to play a violin has to do with the bow that you're using to play the instrument with. Uh, simply put, if the bow is not maintained correctly or if it's of such a poor quality that it's hard to play, then no matter what you spend on the violin, you're not going to be able to make any progress or enjoy playing music. So generally speaking, um, when it comes to student instruments, there are three materials that bows are made out of. You'll see fiberglass bows, you'll see carbon fiber bows, and you'll see wood bows. And um, the uh, material that the bow is strung with, that's the, the white part on the front that you're not supposed to touch, uh, that's natural horsehair. And that does come in different grades. At our shop, we only use the, we use the same high grade of horsehair for rental bows as we do for professional bows, so that there's never any confusion about what quality we're going to use. People come in and they say, I need a horsehair bow. And that's because many years ago, there were bows that actually had plastic hair. And very few people even see those anymore. But uh, the most important part of the bow, after it's been constructed, is the hair. And it is something that is a, a, a commodity that wears out over time. So during the course of uh, playing your violin, if you play a half hour a day, five days a week, and you take off on the weekends, uh, at the end of six months, you will have had the hair on the string for 120 hours straight. At that point, the, the bow hair is going to be pretty worn out, and you're going to have to use lots of rosin to make it stick and to make, it, make any sound. And that's when you, it's a good idea to go in and visit the shop and uh, get the hair changed out. Now, I'm going to say something that some people don't always hear. Even if you have a very basic fiberglass bow like this one, um, which a lot of student outfits will have, sometimes they'll have something at school that they've get, given out to the students, putting fresh horse hair in your bow, even though you don't own it, is probably one of the smartest things you can do along with changing the strings on your instrument. The point being, even though you don't own it, you want it to be producing a good sound for you to learn from. Um, and without that horsehair being fresh and the strings being of decent quality, you're never going to get anywhere. And you can make a lot of difference even in student instruments. So uh, to continue our discussion about bows, something that's a relatively new phenomenon uh, in the violin world is the, the um, process by which they make instruments and bows out of carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is, 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 a, uh, is a material that mimics wood in terms of its density and its springiness and its weight, um, which makes it very good for, for making things that they used to only make out of wood, fishing poles, golf clubs, um, violin bows. Um, the question then becomes, well, gee, is it just as good as wood? And the answer is a little more than just yes or no. So really it comes down to if you spend the right amount of money on a bow, you'll get a good quality bow, whether it's made of carbon fiber or whether it's made of wood. In general, when you're in the very low beginning stages of, of violin playing, um, there are bo wooden bows that are so terrible that a carbon fiber bow would be better uh, for, you know, say a half size or a quarter size student outfit. Uh, once you get above three to five hundred dollars for a bow, they're all going to be good whether they're carbon fiber or wood, but generally you don't see the carbon fiber going up into the, the really high ranges for good quality wood bows. Um, but that being said, I want to emphasize that just because a bow is wood doesn't make it better. How it's maintained can actually make more of a difference than what it's made of.